Hello everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I have four thrift store makeovers to share with you. I think they all turned out very cute. I hope you're gonna like them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Today's first project are these small cast iron finials. I found these finials that are made of cast iron in a goodie bag at the thrift store for $2.99 for all of them. I thought they were really cool looking, but I kind of wanted to see if I could make the details on them stand out a little bit better. So I took a fan brush and some paint. Today I'm using the Americana Decor Chalky Finish paint in the color Lace. After adding just a small amount of paint to the brush, I worked the paint along the edges of the fan brush and then I blotted off most of the excess. My thought was to use just a little bit of paint and try to run that along the edges and raised areas of the finial. Um, basically just dry brushing on some paint to the raised areas of the design and it seemed to work really well. Um, I had to go over it a little bit because I didn't want to over apply the paint so uh, some of the sections I went over two or three different times just making sure that I was using just a teeny weeny bit of paint at a time and making sure that I didn't go overboard. Actually on this one I think I added a little more paint than I wanted to but I liked the effect of it and I only did one side. Um, so I only applied the paint to one side of the finial like the front side so if I ever wanted to look like the original all I have to do is turn it around so I have two looks in one and I am liking it a lot so I went ahead and repeated the process on the remaining two finials and this is how it turned out I am very much enjoying the new look I also like the fact that if I want to I can turn them around and I can have them look the way they originally did today's second project are these beautiful wood frames Here's what the frames looked like when I brought them home from the thrift store. I found two of them, both with the flower prints inside for $4.99 each. I absolutely loved the floral prints, but the frames themselves were pretty rough looking. And look at the backside, it is just like disintegrating. So the first thing I did was very carefully remove the backing, which I happened to flip over and realize that it looks to me like it's an old shopping bag. Does anyone know about a Powers department store? I'm not sure if it's a thing or not. But anyways, I thought that was pretty cool and so I kept that. Then I took a putty knife and used that to scrape off any of the loose um, paper and glue that was on the back side of the frame. I then took a small piece of fine grit sandpaper and used that to remove the rest of the glue and the paper. So the back side looked a little bit more respectable. <laughs> I then flipped the frame over to the right side and use a little bit of sandpaper to begin sanding down the frame. At this point I was ready to um, give the frame a painting but as soon as I started sanding it I realized that the stain was pretty much just turning to a powder when I was sanding it. So that quickly changed my mind and I decided I was going to sand it all down to try to get it down to a raw wood look. So working on one side of the frame at a time, I would sand it down and then wipe off the dust and then sand some more and just kind of repeat that process until I got the look that I was going for. And then I just continued that process all the way around the frame and when I was finished, it was looking like this. I then wanted to give my frame a protective coat, so I took out my Decor Arts Dura Clear Ultra Matte Varnish and just using a small paintbrush, I applied it all over the frame. I gave both frames two coats of the top coat. And when I was finished with the top coat, this is what the frames were looking like. Oh, I think it turned out so pretty. So I used the frames in my spring home decor and I absolutely love how they have turned out. I think they are absolutely gorgeous and I'm loving the pop of raw wood um, with the white and the brass that I use um, for my spring decor and they couldn't have turned out better. 
Today's third project is this beautiful tray, which I used in my living room. I absolutely fell in love with it at the thrift store and brought it home for $8.99. Because this piece was so glossy, I gave it a very light sanding and then I went in with my paintbrush and some basic latex wall paint in a satin finish and gave the whole thing three coats of paint. And then once all the paint had dried, you can probably guess I wanted to distress it just a little bit. Not a whole lot of distressing, but I just used a fine grit piece of sandpaper and I did a little bit of um, distressing along the edges along the top and the bottom of the piece. And then here you can see in the middle, I did a little bit of distressing as well. Not going overboard, just a little bit here and there. The distressing really helped the details of the tray stand out a little more, which I really liked the look of. And once I was done sanding, I wiped down the whole thing to remove any of the dust. And then I took my Deco Arts Dura Clear Ultra Matte Varnish and gave the whole thing a couple coats of that um, just to protect it and kind of give it a nice finish. And that was all that was needed to transform this tray into something that would blend beautifully with my home decor. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think this tray is so unique and I can see myself using it in many, many different ways throughout the years. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. Right now I'm using it in my living room for my spring decor. Today's fourth and final project are these cute little wooden eggs. I recently found a set of six wooden eggs in a grab bag at the thrift store for $2.99. And during my whole house purge, I found six more wooden eggs that I purchased last year, I think probably from Target. So I have 12 eggs to work with today. I first painted three of the eggs a nice pale blue. And then I took my crafting toothbrush and some paint. I picked a white, a black, and a brown. So I just dipped my toothbrush into one of the colors at a time and then running my finger along the bristles of the toothbrush, it kind of flings the paint all over the place and onto my egg as well. Without moving the eggs because the white paint was still wet, I moved to the next color which was black and I did the same process. So now that I'm working with a darker color, you can see it a little bit better. So I just worked my way around the egg, adding black speckles to what I could reach. And then I moved on to the brown color as well. I probably should mention that I washed the brush between each of the colors. And then when I had it looking the way I wanted to, I let them dry. And then I flipped the eggs over to the side that didn't have any paint speckles on it. And then repeated the same process of adding speckles of paint. I painted three more of my eggs a very pale pink and then I repeated the speckling process on them as well. I tucked the eggs into its cute little cardboard holder and then put it in a basket that's sitting on my hutch. I think they turned out so cute and I'll be able to use them for years and years and I love that. I still had six eggs which I found at the thrift store to work with. And you guys probably may remember how obsessed I am with Starburst right now. So I thought it would be fun to keep the eggs and the natural wood color and then paint a cute little Starburst on it. So I started out by putting a dot in the middle and then adding a straight line below it, a straight line above it, one to the right and one to the left as well. Then I added smaller lines in between their larger original lines and that was it super cute and easy. I waited for the paint to dry and then I flipped the egg over and did another starburst on the opposite side. Once the large starbursts were dry, I decided to do two small starbursts on each side of the egg. So here you can see I'm doing the same design, um, just one on top of the other along the, I guess, side edges of the egg. Um, these turned out to be looking a little bit more like a flower, some of them, than a starburst, but that's all right. I also decided to paint two of the eggs with blue paint instead of white paint, and I kind of like the mix of the white and the blue and the natural wood color together, so I think that was a good choice. My last step was to add a top coat 
And for some reason, I didn't record this part, but I did use the Deco Arts Duro Clear Ultra Matte, and I gave each of the eggs one coat. I used four of my Starburst eggs in cute little egg cups, and I arranged them in front of my vintage radio, which sort of seems fitting. <laughs> I staggered the colors between white and blue and I think it looks really cute. The remaining two eggs I put in a cute little dish and I think they look adorable. I am so pleased with how my projects turned out today. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. I would love to know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help out my channel. And of course, if you are not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I guess, friends, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.